So, uh, watching Doug do that exercise, you visually can see, the first thing that shoots off in my mind is healthy. Healthy body, healthy shoulders, healthy range of motion, and the guy's a 315 pound guy. So that's just visually seeing that. Now what's interesting is that I think you guys at home will see that. I, I, I guess this is one of those things where you, you go back to, uh, somebody will like this book and not that book. It's a great book to read, metaphorically. Watching him lift is great, and it makes me excited to watch that healthiness for a young cat like himself. I wish you guys would pick up on that. Relative to instantly seeing him do that, going, ooh, my shoulders hurt. Well, that's because you got bad shoulders. Oh, my lower back hurts. Ooh, because you got lower back problems. Or you're going to. Or you are just mentally fragile. And so that's the difference between somebody that Listen, we're not all going to be Doug, right? There's one out of eight billion people that's Doug. But you could try to separate yourself from the norm, and that's by thinking a little outside of the box and also thinking, well, yes, all this stuff that the guys did in the 40s, 50s, and 60s kept them healthy. Why is everybody so scared of it today? Well, it's just, again, social media. How can they be different? Uh, you can talk about people. That might make you famous. Work for some people. Um, my belief is continue to be like Doug. And I'm going to get that made on a shirt. So it's shoulder press, behind the neck press, standing behind the neck press, now like standing a... Standing behind the neck, standing behind the neck, uh, dumbbell, shoulder press, I stay standing. Um, then we're gonna hit some rears, and then decide at that point, are the shoulders done? Or we got a little something more? Is this too I'll much? I'll say this. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we'll be done. I'm just saying, I think there will be something to kind of tie the whole shoulder together. Uh. A side lateral, maybe an overranged side lateral. If you don't understand what that is, stay tuned. At the end of the video, I will obviously show you that. Even if I decide not to do it, I'll show you what that means. Um, yeah, great workout, fun. And again, it goes back to being Doug being cool with uh, doing some of this stuff. And then I got my little knucklehead with me. And my son, Titan. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> Aren't they gonna say, hey, Mike, that's too much pressing. 
You're not doing enough sides. You want the side laterals. You want the sides. Yeah, I just say, okay, cool. Go do that. Have fun, man. <laughs> yeah. Life don't work that way, my friends. I know. You guys, and that's, you know, they, like Jeff made a great point. Come here. Come here. Jeff said, uh, well, they're going to say that's too much pressing. You've got to have side laterals. you got to do sides. Um, and it's interesting. There's a level that we've got to. And, and if we tell them this, they'll be like, ah. But the point here is these guys have been doing sides for years. And they still have no shoulders. Yeah. And so they're saying something like, oh, you did too much pressing. Guys, you're going to have fun days like this. And yeah, the side ladder will be great. And we may do it at the end. But it doesn't work that way. You can train and you can change workouts and you can skip squats, which I freaking love on a leg day. It doesn't destroy you. Um, just do the best you can. Have fun with it. Go for it. And how do you want to analogize that? Because it's like... Oh, it's, you did three presses, you should have done uprights, you should have done front raises, you should have done side left. Shut up. Yeah. You've been doing it for years and you have no shoulders. But you still want to talk. Yeah, you still want to. I mean, you know, this is really all you have to think about when you come in here. There are no rules about what to do. There's no specific order that must be followed. You must feed the muscle. You must train the muscle. You must rest the muscle. Anything else is up to you. And the more knowledge that you can have as to different methods in which to train the muscle, different nutrients for which to feed the muscle, the better off you're gonna be and the more fun you're gonna be able to have. Because who wants to do the same thing over and over again? Because that's what you're looking for in the gym. It's like, I just wanna come in and follow the same plan every day. Uh, Dude, I want the most optimal power exercises yeah. and I want the most optimal rep range. And I'm gonna give him a microphone so he can drop it. Yeah, that's just... Whatever, man. Do you, do you. I'm gonna do me. Yeah, good. All the way up. Again. What? One. 